let's start here, Bill. Uh, five years ago, you stood on the TED stage, and uh, you gave this this chilling warning that the world was in danger at some point of a major pandemic. <laughs> People watching that talk now, you know, the hair stands up on the back of their neck. It is it is exactly what we're living through. What happened? Did did people listen to that warning at all? Basically, no. We're uh, using Teams now. I'm getting used to that. Uh, you know, I've gone days without uh, seeing seeing uh, any work coworkers. Let, let's start here, Bill. Uh, five years ago, you stood on the TED stage, and uh, you gave this this chilling warning that the world was in danger at some point of a major pandemic. <laughs> people watching that talk now, you know, the hair stands up on the back of their neck. It is it is exactly what we're living through. What happened? Did, did people listen to that warning at all? Basically, no. Um... Of a major pandemic. <laughs> people watching that talk now, you know, the hair stands up on the back of their neck. It is it is exactly what we're living through. What happened? Did, did people listen to that warning at all? Basically, no. Um, you know, I was hopeful that with the um, Zika and Ebola and SARS and MERS, they all reminded us uh, that the hair stands up on the back of their neck. It is, it is exactly what we're living through. What happened? Did, did people listen to that warning at all? Basically, no. Um, you know, I was hopeful that with the um, Zika and Ebola and SARS and MERS. Basically, no. Um, you know, I was hopeful that with the um, Zika and Ebola and SARS and MERS. Basically, no. Um, you know, I was hopeful that with the um, Zika and Ebola and SARS and MERS, they all reminded us uh, that particularly in a world where people move around so much, uh, you can get uh, huge devastation. And so the talk was to say, hey, we're not ready. Um, Zika and Ebola and SARS and MERS, they all reminded us uh, that particularly in a world where people move around so much, uh, you can get uh, huge devastation. And so the talk was to say, hey, we're not ready for the next pandemic, but in fact, uh, there's advances in science that if we put resources against them, we can be ready. Sadly, very little was done. There were some things. The uh, Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation, uh, CEPI, was funded by our foundation, uh, Welcome uh, Trust, and a number of governments um, to do some of the uh, platform vaccine work, but the in the area of diagnostics, antibodies, antivirals, uh, basically doing the disease games that I talked about where we'd simulate uh, what needed to be done, uh, we hardly did anything. And, and so now here we have a respiratory virus doing the disease games that I talked about where we'd simulate uh, what needed to be done. Uh, we hardly did anything. And, and so now here we have a respiratory virus uh, that is sadly fulfilling uh, some of the more negative predictions I made. I mean, last month you said um, that this might be the big one. You, 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 you wrote that this, this could be the sort of once in a century pandemic. ...virus uh, that is sadly fulfilling uh, some of the more negative predictions I made. I mean, last month you said um, that this might be the big one. You, 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 you wrote that this, this could be the sort of once in a century. I mean, last month you said um, that this might be the big one. You, 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 you wrote... I mean, last month you said um, that this might be the big one. You, 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 you wrote that this, this could be the sort of once in a century pandemic um, that people had been fearing. <clears throat> is that how you think of it still? Well, I, it's awful to say this, but we could have a respiratory virus whose case fatality rate was even higher if this was something like smallpox. You know, that kills 30 percent of people. So this is horrific. Uh, but, you know, in fact, 
uh, most people even, I, it's awful to say this, but we could have a respiratory virus whose case fatality rate was even higher if this was something like smallpox. Pandemic um, that people had been fearing. <clears throat> Is that how you think of it still? Well, I, it's awful to say this, but we could have a respiratory virus whose case fatality rate was even higher if this was something like smallpox. You know, that kills 30% of people. So this is horrific. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. So, you know, that kills 30% of people. So this is horrific. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, people. So this is horrific. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. People. So this is horrific. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. People, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. Uh, but, you know, in fact, uh, most people, even who get the COVID disease, are able to survive. So it, in that, it's quite infectious, way more infectious than MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were. Uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. So this is a, you know, it's going global to survive. So it, in that it's quite infectious, way more infectious than MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were. Uh, and it's quite infectious, way more infectious than MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were, uh, MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were, uh, MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were, MERS or SARS were. It's not as fatal as they were. Uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. Uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. So, uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. So, uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. So, uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is you know, really completely unprecedented. So, uh, and yet the disruption we're seeing in order to knock it down is, is, you know, really completely unprecedented. So this is a, you know, it's going global. Uh, that was, it's respiratory. Uh, that was the great fear. Um, how many people end up dying? Uh, hopefully, you know, if we do the right things, it won't be a gigantic number. So it's, you know, we, we should end up not having a 1918 flu situation, uh, we should be able to do a lot better than that. And that's, that's because of actions that we would take. I mean, left um, without the right actions, the prospects are pretty, are pretty deadly. I mean, if we, if we knew what we knew in 1919, um, this thing could take out many t tens of millions of people around the world. Because, uh, like you said, is, is the key thing here that it's, it's got this sort of um, strange combination of being um, certainly more dangerous than flu, not as dangerous as something like Ebola or, or, or SARS, but more dangerous than, than flu by a factor, but, but, but infectious, and, and also infectious before 
symptoms have started? Is that part of why it's, it's been really hard to respond to? Right. So Ebola, you're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at a store. Uh, with, right, so Ebola, you're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at a store. You're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at You're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at a store. You're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus. You're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at a store. Uh, with us or at a store. Uh, with right. So Ebola, you're actually flat on your back before you're very infectious. So you're not uh, at church or in a bus or at a store.